Hey guys, this is Micah from Epium, and today I'm going to show you a quick cloning tutorial. It's uh, rather simple. Uh, we're just using three images for this one, so it should go pretty quick. I'm feeling kind of down in the dumps today, so that's the reason behind the image. Uh, the lamp that's over in the corner is actually my deceased mother's lamp. Um, when she passed away, it was one of the only things that I kept and I felt that it was fitting for this image, so that's why it's in there. So this is the original image that we have, and we want to add this image and this image into the original image. So let's take the image, select the entire thing, Command A, copy it, Command C, and then paste it into our original image, Command V. And then we're gonna make a layer mask, the reason we're adding a layer mask is because I only want part of layer one showing, and that part of layer one is just me standing. So that with the layer mask applied, you will see the background image through that layer mask. So we're gonna grab the paint bucket and just dump it on the entire mask. And then grab the eraser tool, and make sure that it's at opacity 100 and we're just gonna brush out where my second body would be. As you can see, it's kind of spilling into the original image. So we're gonna grab the brush by pressing B and just kind of brush back in part of me here. Make sure that it's nice and solid. Maybe bring the opacity down and kind of clean up the rug a little bit. Make sure that it's pretty believable. We're just going to continue to clean up the image. Then we're gonna select the third image and we're gonna copy it and paste it in. And we're going to repeat the steps that we did on layer one. Add a mask, dump the bucket, and then erase out the third me. The third me kind of has a problem with the layer. Um, the camera got moved very slightly, so we're gonna have to take a couple extra steps to kind of clean up the image itself to make it align with the layer one in the background. So we're going to take a brush and brush out parts that will show through to the background because we want the background image as the primary, not layer two. clean up the rug again. Adjust the opacity all the way up to clean up the blinds because the half opacity wasn't showing through as well as I had hoped. And continue to clean up the image. Just make sure that my third self is completely visible. And so far we have a pretty decent image. Now we're going to add all of the adjustments. So we're gonna hit channel mixer. And we're gonna throw on a monochrome and bring down the opacity. We wanna make this feel kind of, uh, kind of sad. So we wanna kill a lot of the colors here. And then we're going to add a gradient map. Bring the blend mode to soft light. And instead of typing in the opacity, let's actually use the slider to get a better feel. That looks pretty good. A lot of vibrance to kind of punch the colors.
and then let's add a curves and get the contrast up just a little bit more and we'll add a levels to make the image a bit brighter Alright, that looks pretty good. Now let's clean up the rug a little bit and all of the little spots using the clone tool. Just make it look a little bit better. Because if we output this as a very large file or high resolution, you're going to see all the crap that's on the rug. Perhaps I should have vacuumed before I took the shots. Oh well. Too bad we don't have real life Photoshop, huh? So I was going to stop with this image, but it was missing something. Uh, you could use where we are right now for pretty much any other image. Um, I want to give it something a little bit more, so I actually went back once the file was completely exported and changed my mind and decided that I wanted to add some opacity to uh, the second and third me to give it a little bit more of a uh, an ambiance feel like a like a ghostly effect so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our brush and the opacity looks pretty good and we're just gonna hold it down once to pull this out if we hold it down more than once we will have too high a transparency and the effect won't be as desired now what we do want to do is clean up the edges around my ghostly body because the layers were slightly misaligned so we have to line them up a little bit better and get the outlet looking correct and we're just going to continue to clean it up now do the exact same thing for layer one as we did for layer two using the same opacity 55% and then clean up all of the edges and the carpet this is pretty much the end of the tutorial uh, once I did export it I noticed that the power outlet on the left side was really bothering me so I re-recorded the screen capture and I'm gonna show you guys how to remove it really quick really simple and hopefully you'll learn a bit more about the healing brush from this so let me show you how to do that now as you can see it looks a lot better makes the image look cleaner and I also pulled up the top here just so it's a little bit straighter using warp So I'm going to show you how to remove this outlet right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in and we're going to go to the healing brush tool, not the spot healing, and we're going to choose the area that we want to sample. I'm going to get it up here because if I sample too far down, it will just duplicate the outlet below it and we don't want that. So I'm going to brush it out quite liberally. I want to make sure that the entire outlet is gone and have some room on the sides so that when it does heal, it will pull a very decent sample and it will look a lot more realistic than not. And there we go. Looks actually pretty decent. Now I'm going to go back to the original tutorial so that you can see the history pane and see everything that we did to make sure that you guys were able to follow along. Here's our history of everything that we've done. So you can go ahead and pause the video if you want to keep up with how we did it. Make sure that your steps are similar to ours. And that's about it. Really simple, didn't take very long. Uh, less than 10 minutes. These types of composites are relatively simple because we're using a stationary shot and just adding people around a certain point. 
and you're not actually blending people into other people, which becomes a little bit more difficult. These shots still look rather creative and people really like them. Uh, they're some of my favorite to do. I really enjoy doing composites like this of multiple myself because I really wish that there was more of me to get things done. Maybe one day we'll figure out a way to real life clone because that would be awesome. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate your continued patronage and hope that you guys subscribe if you're new to Epium. And check out our previous tutorials and our short films. Hope to see you guys around soon. Thank you so much. Bye.